Good evening, everybody. How are you all doing today? I'm doing well. Today is Wednesday, May 10th. Um, so my day, um, so I started off today, I decided I wanted to do simply filling today. Um, so I um, started off very well. Um, I started this morning, I had a bowl of shredded wheat and I had my coffee, which was three points because I had the uh, Cafe Creations, the mocha one. So that was three point, the shredded wheat and the fat-free milk were simply filling. Um, for lunch, I had, um, I think it's WW Wifey, her cheesy taco pasta or cheesy something pasta. Um, so I had that for lunch. I still have one serving in there. Um, I also had a yogurt, the Dannon toasted marshmallow. If you haven't tried it, give it a try. It's really good. I want to try the tiramisu one. I see everybody else and they have the tiramisu and I love tiramisu and I can't find that one. They don't have that one over by me. I'm kind of sad. I want to try the tiramisu one. Whatever. Um, and then what else have I had today? Um, I think that's pretty much it. I think that's it. So, um, had those two. I'm trying to think. I think that was it. My diet sort of. I didn't have any muscle milk today. And then we had, um, I was trying to think of what I had before staff meeting, because we had staff meeting today. Um, so for staff meeting, we have staff meeting once a month, all, um, every month. So um, there's usually always, they do it by birthdays. So whoever's birthdays it is, they try to find out what kind of things they like, and then they get those little treats like cake, cookies, um, salad, usually not salad, uh, vegetables, chips, fruit, those kind of things. So when I first got there, I seen it, they had this little glorious platter of, Carrot cake. I love carrot cake. There's two things in the world that make me happy. Cookies and cake. With that cake, it's either carrot cake or red velvet cake. I mean, the other cakes are good too. I'll take them, but let's call them. So I let everybody else get it first because everybody, they first let the uh, birthday people go and then they let everybody else go and I try to go and then I'm like, yeah, I'll go ahead and get in line. By the time, you know, because when I first seen it, it seemed like it was like they were like maybe eight pieces and I'm like oh by the time I get there it's probably gonna be gone if there's a piece whatever I'll get one but when I got there they were actually um pretty small pieces of cake I mean they were actually you know how like the cake is triangular um and most pieces of cake are like two three inches you know the the tail end of the uh or the head end of the triangle this one was only about an inch and it was just this little 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 skinny skinny teeth skinny piece of carrot cake so I'm like okay that's not too bad I'm counting it as 10 um it's probably less than that it's maybe like seven but I'm gonna go ahead and count it as 10 so between the coffee and the carrot cake I had about 13 points today um they also had some fruit so I had some a couple of pieces of watermelon honeydew and cantaloupe um what else did I have and then I got home a little bit ago Lauren made me steak which is um he measured it out to be four points. I'm so happy that he did that. Um, and then he also gave me some corn, which um, would be probably about two points. Both the steak and the corn are on Simply Filling, so don't have to worry about that. So again, those are both Simply Filling, but if you were to calculate the points, those with the smart points would be. Um, the steak at all these, it has a little purple tag. I think it's top round. I showed it in my last video. Um, it, like I said, for a four ounce serving is three points which is really low um because I went to Walmart yesterday and I thought I found something that was similar and then as we're getting in line I was looking at it and I seen that because the basically the calculations were for the steak that three points were 150 calories 1.5 grams of saturated fat zero sugar 26 grams of protein so I started looking at this one at Walmart yesterday and it was 220 or 250 calories like six grams of fat and then I just stopped there I'm like oh my god this is way too much this is for a four ounce serving so this is probably going to be double the points so I went and put it back and then I told Lauren let me go to Aldi so I can get some more of those ones so we got a couple more of those so that's why I have that tonight um what else what else what else um so that's pretty much all I've had um I really wanted to have um don't you sniffle don't you sniffle that's a lady um, I really want to have, like right now, I really, really want to have um, cereal. Like, I love the Aldi's brand of um, their shredded wheat. It's basically just shredded wheat with no sugar or anything on it. What? What? You want a BC? You want a BC? Come here. I'll let you be. Come on. Everybody's got to say how cute you are. 
Look at this beautiful little creature who looks scared to death. She's not scared. But she's like, uh-oh, what's going on? What? I didn't do anything, I promise. I didn't do it. Don't blame me. It's, it's, it's something else. It's not me. It's not me, I promise. I'll be good. I'll just sit here and I won't look away. <laughs> um... Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, the shredded wheat thing. So I really want to, because whenever I've just gotten in the habit of, just from many, many, many years, that's Evie. That's not a little piglet, it's Evie. Um, <laughs> um, for many years of just bad habits, I every time I get done with milk, I want to have something sweet. So I put a timer on my phone for an hour, because I'm like, okay, in an hour, I can have a little bit of shredded wheat, but let me at least give myself an hour, give myself some time between eating. Um, so yeah, she's down here. She's wanting to know what's going on. She's like, what are you doing, huh? Why are you Why are you not paying attention to me? I'm cuter and littler and softer. Um, so I did record a video yesterday, but I ended up deleting it just now because I tried to record a video and it died on me. But, um, so Monday I started trying to track points and then I continued that through yesterday. But yesterday, um, I had a little bit of snafus. So it started off pretty good, but then... How where did it go wrong? There was a cookie at work. It, I calculated it to be probably about 10 points. Um, and then just toward the end of the evening, I was just feeling really snacky. So I had some cereal and a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So I'm estimating that I probably went over, I probably had beyond not the simply filling food. Actually not simply filling, because yesterday I was tracking. So I probably went over about 26 points. Hmm. So I probably went over about 26 points. So I'm like, ah, you know what? I'm gonna try something different today. I'm gonna try Simply Filling. So that's kind of where I'm at today. Um, like I said, I kind of started my list, but I just got really busy at work, so I wasn't able to finish it. Um, I'm going to try tomorrow because um, I'm Friday, we're having for Teachers Appreciation Day. They're having um, a lunch for us at work. Um, I pretty much probably know what it's already going to be because I usually have um, some of the same things for like teachers appreciation or different events. So I'm thinking tomorrow I'm going to try not to have any smart points. Like I'm not going to try to have my regular coffee that I would the three points. I'm going to really try hard to like if I'm if it goes in my mouth it has to be simply done. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try that because usually at my work they do Costco like the pastas, the um, broccoli salads, different kinds of salads. Usually with dressing, not always with nuts in it, with um, cheese on it. Um, they have little like croissant sandwiches. So something like that, that's what they usually think they have or they usually have something from like Pit Stop which would be like, it's like a little restaurant, like one of those little, like little restaurants that there's a couple little stores but they're not everywhere, they're not massive yet. So they're probably going to have that which means, um, either way, it gives me a chance to kind of know what to prepare for. Like, I, I think I can definitely find some Simply Filling foods among all that stuff. I may though have to bring my own dressing because I do have some fat-free Catalina and I do have some fat-free French, but if you mix them together, it's like the Big Mac dressing. Um, when I do scan them, they don't come up Simply Filling, but it does say on the Simply Filling list, which I don't know where it is right now, but it does say on the Simply Filling list. No, I do. No, I don't. I took it out. Yeah, I can have it. Um, it does say on there that any um, fat-free salad dressing is simply filling, so I would assume that they are. So I'm going to assume that they are because it does say on the list that uh, fat-free dressing is simply filling. So there's that. Um, what else? I think that's kind of it. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna try to go ahead and continue with simply filling um, with. Uh, Saturday, um, we're going to spend time with my mom for Mother's Day. Sunday, we're going to spend time with Lauren's mom for Mother's Day. And we're probably going to go out both days to have something. And I find eating out with Simply Filling quite a bit easier. Just because you can tell them a salad, no dressing and use, um, salsa and take, you know, no cheese or any of that kind of stuff. Or you can get a piece of steak or a piece of chicken and just tell them no butter, no oil. You can get a baked potato, no butter, no oil. You know, there's vegetables, same thing. I mean, there's lots of choices out there. I feel like if you're doing Simply Filling, um, same thing, if you're going for breakfast, basically hash browns, no oil, no butter. And it's basically just chopped up, um, like a chopped up baked potato. And then you can tell them wheat toast and no jelly. Although sometimes I do use a jelly, but I'm not going to. 
Um, what else? What else? What else? So that's kind of pretty much my week so far and my plans for my week. Lauren's at Dungeons and Dragons tonight, so I'm gonna try to work on some more of my bits of stuff. Um, I'm gonna try to clean the house because it's messy, but I don't want to, but I will anyway. Um, and then terrorize the little one wherever she is, sulking because I'm not paying attention to her. And all that good stuff. So that's kind of my evening. I wish you guys all a good evening. Let me know what are your plans for Mother's Day? Are you planning on um, tracking? Are you planning on doing simply filling? Do you just kind of plan on not, that's kind of like a freebie day? What are your thoughts? Let me know. All right, I'm gonna let you go so I can do all the things that I really don't wanna do, but I should do anyways. Have a good evening, everybody. Bye.